Thank you for clicking through to this video on why fuel pump diaphragms on a two-stroke engine can cause bog down. This is actually number five of 12 on the topic of bog down and I've uploaded the full version, the full 12 reasons in a crash course, but I thought I'd list each video separately just to make things a little easier. So after this, please check out the other videos. But if everything was okay with the manifold and I was still getting nowhere, I would check the fuel pump diaphragm, my number five. Now before I checked the fuel pump diaphragm itself, which is obviously inside the carburetor, and it's the bottom diaphragm there shown in green, I would actually check the cap that keeps the diaphragm in place. And it's this screw here that keeps that cap up tight in place and holds the diaphragm in place. And when this screw's nice and tight, obviously keeping the cap onto the carburetor nice and tight, everything's working as it should be. We've got the fuel coming in from the fuel tank, entering the carburettor and it's being used inside the carburettor there going into the venturi as air and fuel mixture and all's hunky dory all's well generally it's down to one screw to hold this cap on and hold it on tight enough to get the correct function of the carburettor but what can happen is and this is something i have come across in the past a few times is that cap can become loose and that's because the screw beneath it holding it on has become loose and that causes then a gap between the cap and the main body of the carburetor. Now if this happens there'll be excess fuel spilling out at these points of course but what will also be happening is air will be drawn into the carburetor so it'll fill the carburetor up with air. So there'll be air and fuel in the carburetor where there should be just fuel and the air will work in through into the carburetor something like what's shown here in the animation. There'll just be a continuing constant supply of air there coming in through that area and the result of that is too much air here coming into the inlet area of the carburetor through to the engine and again we've got a fuel to air ratio here that's weak in fuel so there's too much air to fuel so at this point the engine would most likely bog down that's if it runs at all and again it's all because of this cap slightly loose because this screw is slightly loose allowing air to fill up all the way around these fuel vanes and up through the top here and down into the engine. The same effect incidentally can be brought about by a cap that's damaged. So even if it's nice and tight and the screw's nice and tight holding it there, if there's damage to the side of the cap it can draw in air similarly and cause the same sorts of problems. But the fuel pump diaphragm itself can also cause problems with bogging down. Of course though when it's operating okay and everything's working as it should there's no problem whatsoever. But problems can occur mainly when the diaphragm ages or when a substandard diaphragm is used. So here's the fuel pump diaphragm and if we take a look at that valve there it's opening and closing the way it should do and the right amount of fuel is coming through so that the venturi can be filled with the right amount of fuel air mixture. So when these diaphragms do age or they're made from a substandard material what happens is they go stiff and rigid and of course when the diaphragm goes rigid so does the valve because that's part of the diaphragm and if you look at the valve now it's not opening up as much as it did the fuel flow coming in can't move it so far because it's more stiff so now if the engine revved to high revs it wouldn't be able to get enough fuel for what it needs and you can see there there's a lack of fuel coming in through that valve there. So now we're left with a restriction of flow of fuel going through the carburetor. And you can see these important areas emptying, like the fuel pump area here. And it's a big problem now because the fuel pump area has no fuel to pump. Now even though there is a restriction of fuel here, there might still be enough flow to support idling speed. But as we increase engine revs and put more demand on for fuel, then it will be drawn out of the inlet of the carburetor by the engine much quicker than it can be replaced because of that restriction. So all of these fuel vanes now will just continue to be emptied as the fuel's used. And as you can see there's plenty of fuel coming from the fuel tank, but regardless of this you can see that the fuel vanes continue to empty, all because of the restriction there on the valve flap. And we've got to a point now where there's no continuation of fuel here, feeding the metering area and of course eventually the main jets. So when the engine tries to draw in fuel there's no fuel available to be drawn in and that results in big consequences of course because all we've got now is air being drawn into the engine and very little fuel if any. Just like you can see there we've got more air going in than fuel a lot more 
and there's not a very good ratio there of air to fuel mixture. In fact, it's a very weak mixture. So when the throttles open fully for high engine revs, this amount of fuel wouldn't support that amount of revs. And what we end up with is bog down. The engine stops. This kind of restrictive defect can happen on any of the valve flaps on the diaphragm, by the way. I only use the first one as an illustration, but they can be any. Another area of a fuel pump diaphragm failing issue is this area here. This is the actual fuel pump area of the fuel pump diaphragm, and it relies on a good range of movement up and down to allow for good pumping action. I've just moved the fuel out the way of the diaphragm here, by the way, just so I can explain things and show things a little better of the diaphragm's movement. But when all's working correct, there will be fuel there. So when this area ages and becomes more rigid, it reduces the pumping efficiency of the fuel available for the engine because we haven't got the same freedom up and down, the same degree of movement there, which allows the pump in action. And the obvious result of that is a lack of fuel getting up there to the inlet of the carburetor that's available for the engine. And if it runs at all, when we try and increase the engine revs, there won't be enough fuel there for it and then bog down. But rigidness and aging, etc. isn't the only thing that can affect the fuel pump diaphragm. If there's any damage to this area, so if there's any holes in it or any kind of trauma, then fuel will escape through. And of course, the pumping action then will be reduced again. At this point, the only remedy really is to replace this diaphragm for the price that they are. They're not difficult to replace. And as long as you've got the numbers off your carburetor or off your machine, you can normally ring a supplier and get the correct one. Thank you again for looking at this video and please do check out my number six video which is regarding fuel vein blockage and how it relates to bog down. Thank you for watching.